Hey, Vincent. Pretty much. Sure, why not? Let's let me help you out, bro. I got you. So what what do you need? What is your problem today? Since I'm the fixit man of the school, I will be glad to spend my time to help you out. It is rather kind of unusual. Slightly strange. Um, Sarifa is also her, his um, maid. He tends to have his maid around quite often. For some reason. I don't know, some class 1 students have like maids around them. For some reason, and then some don't. I don't know why. Three passionate love letters. Woo. I'm not sure about that, but I'm not going to deny the way you think. Oh, she sent cookies that could possibly p be poisoned. Um, sure. Did you uh, open the box in front of a camera and say, M -m -m money shot? That's what I would have uh, done. So she's a first year. Did she call you senpai? <laughs> a grand rose. Well, that definitely is a, um, quite a declaration. It's true. It's very true. So we couldn't go ask the florist. Sure, why not? I'm sure. The Grand Maiden. I guess that makes sense. I didn't actually remember that part. Though I can't remember every single detail of this of this game. It's interesting though, that's that that is where the um, name of the Grand Rose came from. Alright, so we gotta head over to the flower shop. We need to go speak with Jane, who is the uh, owner of the flower shop. So let's go do that.
Can you get out of my way, dude? Hey, Jane. I just realized Fee is in the background. Hey Fee! Good to see you! <laughs> cool. Of course. That was the plan. So Beryl from class 3, Vivi from class 4, and Rosine from class 5. Which, one of those is actually one of my favorite NPCs. Um, one we haven't met yet, actually. But I'll let you know when we actually run into her. All right, so let's go talk to, um, actually we're gonna go talk to her right now, cool. Um, she's standing right in front of the chapel. I really like this girl. That makes sense. So we don't get to talk to her too much, but we will have some side quests with her later on. But I like that girl. Just saying. So next up, we need to go talk to Beryl, who's in the probably the student union building. So I'm just going to head there without checking the guide. Now I'm going to check the guide. Yeah, she's in the Student Union building, like I thought. Um, she has her own club, which is right on the second floor, and it's kind of weird. So, be prepared. I think it's this door right here. Or it's the next one. No, it's the next one. There she is. Hey, Beryl. So Beryl runs the occult study group or whatever. I kind of forgot what the proper name of it is. I guess we can check when we leave. Not really, to be honest. I really like your bow. All right, good to see you. So, let me check. A coal research club, okay. So next, we need to go to the gardening club. So let's head over there. All right, so gardening club should be right over here. Um, I thought it'd just be easier to run there, because it's really not that far. So we need to go speak with Vivi. Of course.
<sighs> oh, Vivi. You can never just let your sister go, can you? Yeah, poor Lind. Well, we, we asked them all and they all didn't really deliver them, so... Maybe we should just go, uh... And <laughs> the trail's gone cold. It's pretty nice. I wonder if that was intentional. So, let's go uh, speak with Vincent, I guess, because we didn't really gain anything from this. So that kind of sucks. Hey, man. We turned up cold. Of course. Spoken just like a first year. Well, class one. Yeah, maybe so. She could be a noble. Or she could be here right now. Oh. Oh. So it's Margarita. Great. <laughs> Poor Vincent. Dumbfounded. That's such a great, like, thing. <laughs> Just dumbfounded. Oh, well, damn. That's pretty good. I mean, not for him, but that's pretty good. Oh, wow. I actually didn't know that. Or I forgot. Jesus Christ. It's very limited on, limited on your replies. <laughs> Giving him only two options and both are yes. Damn. Just straight up no. Well, that only sounds slightly dangerous. 
honestly. So, um, I think you should probably run. I'm not gonna do anything. It's not my business. Hey, Serefa. once <laughs> oh man he better go it's just perfect timing I can't believe it whoa no way sorry margarita I think he has to go he's probably not going to but Yeah, kinda. So we get the prismatic cape for that. And we're pretty much done with this one. Thanks, Serifa. Have fun. I keep thinking the back of his... Um... Uniform is like the end of his hair. So I keep thinking he has a ponytail, but he doesn't. It's really throwing me off. Alright, Margarita, I gotta go. Sorry. I really don't feel like being here anymore, so... So off she goes to make some more cookies for her love. And uh, we're just gonna stand here and pretend none of that happened. Slia is pretty unique. So we get that quest done. A rather long quest, but... Uh, eh, Whatever. It's some weird shit, man. Make sure to keep those two in mind, because it is not over yet. So, next up, let's go talk to Yusus. Sure. Spend some good time with my pal, Yusus. I mean, we used to not be friends, but now we're kind of friends. So we're getting there. We're, we're getting places, and that's pretty good. Pretty much. I mean, he's actually not wrong, because that's exactly what we do. Damn. Well, that's certainly uh, rather harsh, but, you know, he did offer. Man. Another person, like, stepping on uh, Yusus's toes. Shit. Yeah, pretty much. Look at this dog. <laughs> oh my god, did I just say dog? Alright, I'm gonna throw in the towel now. I'm quitting uh, Let's Playing. I'm gonna throw in... I'm just gonna throw it in right now because I literally just called a horse a dog. So I think this Let's Play's over. We're gonna call it here. And thank you for watching. 
and I'll see you guys when I, uh, um, when I decide to upload that video of me, uh, actually hanging myself. So, uh, thank you, and I'll see you, see you next time. Look at this horse! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pretend none of that just happened. To bring it into perspective, by the way, Nord Highlands is like, I think, uh, like a day's worth of travel away. So bringing a horse like from all the way up there to all the way down here is pretty insane. Look at this horse. Look at this dog. I love dogs. Not really, but like... If I had a dog that looked like that, I'd be down. <laughs> what if there was like a hybrid of a horse and a dog? Like, what do you think would... What do you think that would be? I mean, there's like a... You wouldn't really like... That's not really a donkey. I guess it would be like somewhat similar to a donkey. Yeah, he's getting better. Slowly but surely. Let's clean that horse. Clean him. Alright, so we strengthened our bond with Eusis. He's he's slowly getting better. He he's a nice guy, honestly. Eusis is a pretty cool guy. And I'm sure with time he will continue to be our friend. So next up, we gotta go spend time with my girl. My best girl. Uh, Laura. Looks like Hugo's doing something. Oh, Hugo, Becky is running the store? What's going on? Damn. You know, while we're here, we should probably buy some more fresh milk. So I'm gonna buy like... I'm gonna buy like 15... For the cat. Yeah, and Hugo's hanging out here. I guess he just let them run the store for a little bit. I like the cut of her jib. <laughs> Alright, how you doing, Laura? Sure, why not? Let's spend some time with the best girl. With the best girl! Look at that Mishy. See that plush? Super cool. Sure. <laughs> what? How would I know? I'm a guy. <laughs> I don't think I would an I'd be able to answer that. I mean, I don't think that's a real problem. I think, you know, based on how you're grown up, anyone's going to be different based on that. Like, you're not always going to like the same things as, like, your best friend, so. Not really. I don't really
really find different to be bad, though. Probably this big stuffed animal. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that. So that's probably when he was introduced, maybe? I don't think there were any Mishis in, uh, Sky, so... I don't know, I might be wrong about that. So don't quote me on that, but I don't remember. Laura? No. <laughs> I mean... Laura. <laughs> cool. We're gonna buy that cool plushie. No problem. I'm always here for you. Honestly. If you ever need help, you ever need anything at all, you just call my name, I'm there. A long and harsh path of trying to learn what other girls like. Yeah, it's true. You really don't. I don't see why not. So we got to spend some time with Laura, which is always nice. And I believe, yeah, we get to level 3, so that's good. We're gonna be maxing the fuck out of her. So, if we go over and look, um... We got a character note for Sharon from Elisa's. Um, we got a Yusus one. And we also just got a Laura one. So we're on our way to getting Laura's. There's uses. So with that, that is all the bonding points we have. So next up is I think we're going to be heading to the old schoolhouse. Alright, so I just had to make sure of everything. But next, um, yeah, I think we're just going to the old schoolhouse. So let's go. It's always really scary coming here because... The music's gone, and it's all like, Ooh. So now with the old schoolhouse, I'm going to start creating my main party. My main team from this uh, cast of characters. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it's all girls. Because the girls in this game are really good. For no reason. I mean, there's plenty of reasons, but like... It's mostly because they all have better backstories for their strength, I guess. So let's do it. Well, that was different. So now you can bring anyone from class seven, thankfully. So we're going to be bringing, um, Fee, Laura, and Emma, which is my main team in this game. They're, all three of them are really good. So, we're going to be rolling with that. I think I'm also going to be bringing Eustace and Machias, because they're a bit lower leveled. So, we'll roll with that. Oh yeah, the thing about this time is Laura and Fee are not really working well together at the moment. Kind of forgot about that. 
So the thing about that is they're not going to be able to link up together. And we, we won't be able to know anything about that for right now. It's just something that you're going to have to deal with because their slight differences haven't been solved yet. So I'm going to be linking with uh, Laura probably. Or maybe I'll link with Fee. But we can't have them link together because it's not going to work out. Alright, so, um, we do, like, we're rank 3 with, um, with Laura, so I think I'm just going to link up with Fee. So let's just do that, and I'll have these two link up. I See, if we try this, we can't do it. So, there's some issues between them at the moment that we can't really solve currently. So is she good? Yeah, I think she's pretty good. So, do we have anything that you would like to put on, just to make sure? Spark Arrow, Mercuria... I don't- I think we're pretty good on what we got. So... For Laura, might as well give her, like, an attack one. Um, do I have to take anything off them for them? Not really. I really need to unlock some uh, fee shit. But we could put a few things on them. I don't really like putting magic or anything on. On Laura because she really doesn't use any. But I can always put like random stuff on them. Like the Septium Vein I could put on. Or the Dragon Vein. Actually probably not that. What's really good to do sometimes is putting on the, um, the shit, if you know what I'm saying. Like the ones that cause status effects and stuff. Um, I think I will, will put the move one on her. Just to give her a little bit more movement. But I think we're good for right now. The main thing I want to focus on is the accessories. So, let's uh, go ahead and start taking some stuff off. Alright, we're good. So, I just need to put things on her. So, she really needs some speed. So, I'm probably going to put that on her. Silver Hourglass. Cape does ATS. That might be good to put on uh, Emma. And I'm probably just going to give her more speed. So, just give her that. And then for Emma, let's drop this for the cape. There we go. And I think we're good to go for right now. So we're going to be heading down to the third level, I think. Yeah, pretty much. So things are going to be getting a little longer at this point. Um, we're going to be dealing with, I think, three floors. Or, I'm sorry, two uh, two areas, maybe three in there. So we'll, uh, we'll see when we get there. So let's head on to the floor three. To the third floor.